Morning, this is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's messy, messy radio room show. We're down in my workshop, and we're trying to conduct an experiment. The, the problem with this experiment, it's got so many variables. Let me turn the audio down on this radio. Okay, let me tell you what this setup is. This is my desktop. It's running SDR console version 3. It's using the Fifi SDR connected to a cable that goes to a switch, which is switching this antenna, which is the MFJ 31 foot vertical antenna between the Fifi and this SDR right here, the RTL-SDR.com. So that way I can kind of use the same antenna for both radios and switch back and forth. Now, the cabling is totally different to each antenna. This one just has this very small cable comes to the dongle. This cable here, pretty heavy cable that goes to the SDR. They have different adapters to get the cabling right. Again, this one the Fifi is running SDR console on my desktop. This one over here is running HD SDR on a laptop, an older, very old, it's probably 10 years old laptop, dual core to Sony. And what other variables do we have? <laughs> we got a lot of variables. And of course, the software themselves have different characteristics takes 10 different cable uh, different whatever variables so that's another and there, I, no attempt was made to make them close just whatever they were set up the last time is what they're set up okay so I am listening to WWV on 5 megahertz this morning and it's 7.30 in the morning here in Clearwater so we're going to turn the audio back up Pretty good signal, and visually you can see that it's a pretty large signal. Again, the two programs, what they're showing you on the display will vary. Um, now we can come over to, and what I'm going to do again, or he does once and I accidentally turn the camera off, we're going to set this on the tripod so it's not quite as jumpy, and we're going to concentrate on this guy here because this is the one I'm attempting to test again this is not a one-to-one -one comparison absolute because there's so many other variables the switch the cables the software but we'll just kind of see how they do compare to each other as far as reception so now this one the rtl-sdr.com I'll just call it RTL from now on doesn't have an antenna so we're going to switch the antenna in we got a signal It appears to be a little weaker, but again, his software allows you to change so many things that could affect that. Even the uh, RF gain. So I've got the RF gain on manual and I've got it up to uh, 40 decibel. I can max it, 48. Didn't seem to change much. We'll leave it there. We get a very wide spectrum here, so we can zoom in. Okay. So there's WWV. 
And keep in mind, this display, you can change its parameters. So you can't look at the display and compare one and one. Okay, there's the announcement at the uh, minute. We're going to switch back over to the Fifi SDR. I'm not going to rotate the camera, just listen. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the antenna from this one. And now we'll turn the volume back on on the Fifi. I would say they're pretty close just based on the sound level and clarity. Let's say you're about to sing. I, I, of course, I can also vary the, the volume. So I'm get, right now I'm getting pretty good noise on this, the Fifi. Let's go back for a second. I had the other one, Fifi still on. That's not bad, it's pretty clear. Let me go back to the other one. And of course, another variable is the station itself, its transmission is varying. My reception just overall at my location is varying so we don't have we really don't have any constants here uh, we, well they do have one constant in the outside am antenna I'm using is going to either of the radio so that's a constant let's try another frequency let's try ticking 10 megahertz which before I wasn't receiving very well at this time of the morning so we're yeah, I don't hear anything on 10 megahertz on the Fifi. Let's turn the sound off. I'm going to go back to the RTL. Go back, go to 10 megahertz. Okay. Nothing. Okay, let's, uh, let's just scan down from there because typically in the morning um, reception is better on the lower frequencies. So let's just let's go down. And I'll use a frequency manager here. And we'll choose the hand bands. And we'll go to 80 meters. See what's down there. Lots of stuff. That's not ham. <laughs> That's, and we're in lower sideband. And let's see what's up here. Not much up there. Let's zoom out a little bit. There might be something here. No, maybe up here. No. Let's zoom out some more. I don't see any strong signals. That sounds like bleed over. I'm just going to use that frequency, although it doesn't sound like a good one. It sounds like bleed over from a medium wave band. I'm just going to use that and see what I get on the Fifi. Okay, let's switch over the Fifi. Turn the Fifi's audio on. We'll go down to 38.3, or try to. Okay, I actually see 
something. Um, let's go to 38.3 like I said I was going to. Get the right button. 38, 30. Wrong way. Okay. And right there. I'm kind of getting at what sounds like. Oh! There's some sideband. See if I can tune it in. Okay. There was somebody there for a few seconds and they quieted down. There's some signals up here higher. Well, like they say, there we go. all you gotta do is be able to run faster than your buddy over. That's right. There's a pretty so strong signal from an amateur radio operator on 39, excuse me, 3.905. So I'm going to switch over to the S RTL. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, that sounds like oh, a yeah. effective way to stop him for sure. Well, uh, we were going through Estes. Yeah, that's, and, uh, that's, that's a strong signal. Actually, that appeared to be a little stronger than the Fifi, keeping in mind all the variables that I mentioned. So, I think just in this limited testing, and I only just tested a couple of frequencies, they appear to be the same relative quality of reception capability in this limited test. So, anyway. Uh, I'll continue to do some more testing and uh, later on today maybe do some upper band testing on the shortwave band and do a quick video. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. It tells me whether you're enjoying my shows or not. Have a great day. Bye-bye.